Nice, welcome back. Welcome back to another stealth camp. Yep, current situation I am on the water uh, in my little surf kayak. Uh, this thing spends more time upside down than anything else, but conditions could not be any better right now. It's like a mill pond, it's mega. Uh, you might recognize that crest over there, that's where I did the Bibby Bag stealth camp, which is about minus three. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get back in go for it tonight's gear is british military surplus gear so uh better get to it shall we okay guys here i am dried off now in a local woodland area Time is roughly almost 7 p.m. at night, so I'm gonna to have to be fairly handy because the sun, sun is going down behind me, so I wanna get set up. Plan is, set up about five meters away from this path. I'm gonna use mostly uh, British military surplus gear. So I've got a basher, bivy, uh, I've got their Mark 7 woodland netting. Uh, let's see how covert I can make this. Let's do it. Down here, it's a spot. See, the path is probably five meters from this spot. So, over there is where I'm going to go for it. Nice little secluded spot. I think it could be good. Switch the GoPro quickly because I'm just going to give you a POV of what it's like to walk past here and then walk to my location. Ready? Path up there. 
Okay guys, right. <laughs> right, British Army Basher, DPM, which I think is the best camouflage for British woodland area. Uh, then what we've got, we've got the uh, DPM Gore-Tex bivy bag. Uh, now I have camped in just this on its own. Okay, inside, just, just use the, use a stick that I found nearby. I mean, I don't use trekking poles a lot, so uh, yeah, I brought that. If you are looking for a video of how to set something like this up, I have made a tutorial on how to create a tarp tent. Again, link below. So, inside, Thermarest Ridge Rest, uh, just a hard foam mat, no uh, Gucci inflatable stuff today. Uh, I've got the Intrepid 1000 by Berghaus sleeping bag, three season. Uh, I don't think it's due to drop below six, seven degrees tonight, so this will be ample. Got the Trichology inflatable pillow. That's pretty much it. Uh, haven't had anybody come past the path yet. It's not to say they won't, but I feel like we should do a quick stealth check before we get into anything else. British Army MRE 24 hour ration pack. Figured. Since I were doing the, the uh, military theme, we might as well go with that. Right, let's go check out. Let's do a stealth check and see from the path how much can be seen from here. Let's do it. There's my setup, as I've just shown you. Right, I don't think you picked this up, but there's a football pitch through there. Or as some of my uh, American subscribers would call it, soccer pitch, because I do have a few Americans. Thank you very much, guys. Right, there she is. I'm going to climb over here. I'm going to have a look at this path. Let's do it. This is how close the path is. Well, I'm on the path, this is it. I'm on the path, how long did that take? So literally just back there is me. So, if I bug out down there a touch, I should see just how stealthy I am, whether I need to add any more control measures. Okay, so, I feel like this is probably the most vulnerable spot. So here we are, we're on the path. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm just between these two trees. So you what, it's not bad. That's where I am. Here we are on the path. I feel like I'm fairly camouflaged there, but I feel like we do need a touch more camo to blend in. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out the Mark 7 issue woodland camo net. Now this is used primarily for uh, covering up vehicles, etc. But I feel like could, this could work for us. Let's go get it out of the bag. Right guys, this is it. Store it in a dry bag. British Army, Mark 7, woodland netting. Super strong. Let's go for it. feel that that has blends in so nicely with this. I pulled the front down a little bit just so where uh, when I'm in there I can still see out because you can still see out through this stuff. Look at the other side. So I haven't done much with this side. See there. Because the primary objective is to stay covert from that path. Quick, one last stealth check, and then we'll get cracking on okay. from the path. Look 
Can you see my setup? There she is. It's nearly 8 p.m. now, so I need to get some food on. So we've got British military rations. Don't need to be in the military for these. I'm not in the military. Buy any of this gear on eBay. So let's open them up and have a look and see what's inside. This is to sustain a soldier for 24 hours. Uh, they burn shitloads of calories doing what they do. Uh, thank you to anybody in the services. Much appreciated this before it gets started. Okay, a very brief overview of the rations. Well let's start start with the drinks. Got some coffee, roasted coffee, Got some tea, pushing a boat out, a bit of Thai food as well, no messing. Well it's not a drink but it's uh, some chili sauce to add some flavour, some water purification tablets, creamers, and two uh, alcohol free wipes, some tissues for wiping your ass with can be used as plasters as well if you want. Oh, what's that? A mint. I'm sure, you'd be bothered about the smell of your breath out in the field. Right, what else we got? Okay, we've got some matches, storm matches. I've seen people try and use these, they uh, seem to be alright. Spork. Seems alright quality to be fair. Got to eat with something. Right, what we got here? Hot chocolate. Nice. What's this one? Cola flavoured drink. Sugar with sweeteners. All right. Oh, another energy drink. Peach iced tea flavour. Not my kind of thing, but I'd do it. This more me, raspberry flavoured energy drink. What's this stuff? Another drink. Lemon flavoured drink. Got muesli for breakfast. A sausage casserole here and two of these these seem to be the same pindi chana aloo so i've got two curries i'm assuming one's rice perhaps and the other one is the actual curry uh, i don't know if i've said about this oat biscuit ah, peanut butter it's getting smashed imminently an oatmeal block <laughs> you eat all this you will be blocked it's also designed, I believe, to uh, stop you going to the toilet so you can crack on. I don't know if that's true. Hey yo! I'm gonna get on this. Pretty hungry right now. Just gonna set up the one tigress wood burning stove. Should do for heating up my uh, food and coffee tonight. You've seen me set this up plenty of times, so I'll just get to it. I actually gave one of these away to a subscriber. Hope you're enjoying it, mate. Nice one. Just gonna go and get some uh, firewood for the stove. Got myself an axe. Grand total of 12 pounds from B&Q. Nothing Gucci, but it'll do the job for me. Before it gets too dark, I'm going to deploy the wildlife camera just off up the path just to see what occurs in the night. Wildlife camera. I've deployed it, hopefully, so you can see anybody coming along the path. There's wallabies spotted in this area sometimes, so fingers crossed, you never know. It's warming up.
just hiding behind this wall because somebody did just walk past. Luckily, <laughs> they didn't spot the fire. But uh, it's the risk you take. Obviously, if I wasn't cooking, I don't think anybody could see me see me there. But yeah, that was a close one. Tog walkers, eh? So the good thing about having a fire in the summer, anyway, is it gets rid of all the bugs. There was a few midges knocking around before, but all gone. Now, for those of my subscribers who know, firefighter, uh, I don't really like many big fires. Uh, I've been to so many woodland fires, and they are so like tight on our resources. So, if you are lighting a fire, please be uh, semi-responsible. This year, it's an essentially a little firebox. I've given the area a brush around. We're not on any risk, and I've got water over there. Should anything light up. Based on where I am to the football pitch though, anyone on that football pitch, if we get any darker, will see this fire, so I am going to have to knock it as soon as I've made food. Nature's fuel everywhere, wood. Everywhere. I got so used to, get so used to using my jet boil, get lazy. This, there's nothing quite like a fire, even if it is in a little firebox. Okay, British military rations. See what you got. So it's decent of them to actually give you a spork that reaches the bottom. Gone are the days of uh, your full speed. I can tell you what, straight away, the hit of the size of that sausage. That, that's a beast. So hot, I can't touch it. Let's give her a go. Give that a solid six out of ten. Mm. Interesting to appraise this protein bar based on mainstream ones. Doesn't look too bad. Can't see that, can you? Doesn't look too bad, to be fair. Bloody hell. Tell you what, you wouldn't mind having any loose fillings on one of these bad boys. Jaw workout, just smashing it. But, tastes alright. I had one of the uh, energy drinks just before. So good. In fact, it might all be sugar, but I'd go as far as to say it's probably one of the nicest drinks I've had. Real good. We're inside, we're inside the basher. My pole set up with me, uh, I've just tied a lantern to it, as you can see. The camo netting drapes over the front nicely. Uh, inside, I have given all this a good going over, so hopefully, got rid of most of the creepy crawlies. Uh, pillows up, sleep mags up, all this gear you've seen before. Therma rest. I've got my bivy. Good to go. It's quite nice, all I can hear is the sound of birds. Don't know if the camera's picking that up. So as you can see, not much to show you beyond this point. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much gonna bed down shortly. Um, to be honest, I'm not in sleeping bag yet, or the bivvy, because it's still pretty damn warm. I've got this thick down jacket on. It's just nice sitting here listening to the uh, birds. People at the football pitch are finally gone. Yeah, but there's not much more to show you inside here. <laughs> you get asked quite often, how come you don't crack open a few beers? Uh, you know, during a camp, which you know most people do. And uh, the reason is, I, d I used to like drinking, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, I got a really bad infection in 2018. And uh, had uh, 15 courses of antibi antibiotics. Uh, two surgeries cutting this bloody infection out of me and uh, ever since I can't really stomach alcohol It just makes me sick. So Yeah Might be a blessing. I don't know but yeah, I don't really uh, so I don't really partake 
for those who do, good on you. Unless something uh, pretty serious happens in the night, like get caught or uh, bloody Bigfoot runs past or something, then uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, what a night. I slept pretty well, in fairness, um, considering uh, I knocked this pole over a couple of times, which was a right pain in the arse. Probably could have done with being about, I don't know, four or five inches bigger, because it has sunk into the ground a touch. Uh, I mean, I know how to pick a site. This is on a slant, it's challenging. Uh, but I slept well, I slept well. Um, didn't rain, so didn't have to test any waterproof capabilities. Got down to about six or seven degrees Celsius last night, so I was perfectly comfortable in my uh, Berghaus sleeping bag. Uh, what else to report? Yeah, it was comfortable enough. The ground, like I say, is fairly soft. I cleared it before I uh, lay down. Uh, I think I did hear people walking past uh, in the early hours. But like I say, I was in there, so. They certainly didn't see me. Not my favourite setup, uh, the tarp tent. I'm, uh, I think next time we'll go for a plough point kind of arrangement. Uh, what's your, guys, comment below, what's your favourite setup uh, when you go tarp camping? All right. Oh, yeah. You might see me using an axe and a knife earlier on uh, last night. If you haven't seen this video already, put together an individual first aid kit, so an IFAC. Uh, all wound management stuff in here, like Israeli bandages, and it's a really cool bit of kit. Really cool bit of kit. Uh, there's a video which I'll link up here, which I go through it, and discuss how to pack, stow a cat tourniquet. You won't believe how many people do that wrong. So, check it out. Right, coffee time now then. <coughs> coffee time. What we got? Oh, so the lads at Dead Mammoth Coffee Company have hooked me up today. Not sponsored. They just sent me over some stuff. So we try a coffee bag. Have you ever heard of these? There we go. I haven't said it in this video yet, but I don't do much uncaffeinated. Cheers, guys. I've hit over 2,000 subscribers now on YouTube. So thanks to each and every one of you. It is appreciated. I didn't really get into YouTube to uh, get a, make a job out of it or anything like that. Or I mean, none of my videos are monetized. It's just I like making videos. Uh, I find it really quite good for mental health. It's a it's a good hobby. And uh, I mean, I'd be out here camping irrespective anyway of making videos, but it's just nice to document it. I quite often go back and watch previous camps and little things I've forgotten about. And it, you know what, I just love it. I absolutely love the create, creative process right through from thinking about what shots to get to the editing afterwards. And the community on YouTube, absolutely mega. The guys I've, I've met through there, fantastic. Certainly the wild camping community, it's the best one I've, I've, I've been involved in. I've done a lot of things, skydiving, etc. you know. Most friendly people I've ever met, campers. Happy campers! <laughs> right. Oh. 
can't patch this up, can I? Especially now that I'm full of caffeine. Let's give it a go. What could go wrong? Now you're talking, boys. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna have to fix this now. Put it back on. Not as high up because I think if you're any bigger than that, you probably snap the rover. So, fun police. Right, well, time to make her up. Shouldn't take long. Leave no trace. Is there anything on the wildlife camera? I haven't shown already. Put it on the screen now. Great bit of kit this, honestly. Put a link to it in the description. There we go guys. Another solar overnighter in the books. I enjoyed that one. Hope you did. Military gear is bomb proof but it is heavy. Uh, I am all packed up, put the jacket on there a little while back because it uh, started to get a bit nippy. So yeah, let's uh, stay tuned for the next one. Appreciate all those who comment and subscribe and everything else in between. Really appreciate it. So time for me to get out of here. Still early doors, full day ahead of me. See you later guys. <laughs>